guys welcome back to another video i hope everyone is having a good week so far um so as you can see i'm going to be using my practice hand today from red iguana and i already applied on what would be the nail beds and so as you may know i do have 88 88 acrylic powders from um, iGel Beauty. So today I am going to be using two of them just to see how they work out. And I'm going to be doing this um, for the rest of my videos probably just to test them out. Um, so the first one that I'm going to be using is a piglet and that's going to be Double D 175. And we, bel we belong together Double D do 25. So I'm just going to test these out to see how they work. And I'm also going to be using um, coffee for me a secret. And I'm going to show it to you guys just in a bit. There we go. So that's, I'm also going to be using that one. So like I mentioned just a little bit a while ago, I am going to be using my Red Iguana silicone hand. I actually love this hand. It has helped me out a lot with practicing and trying to get that real feel of an actual client. And so um, these are the tips that I'm gonna be using as the stiletto from BU. And um, you're just gonna see me here, they already been applied. So what you would normally do first is push back your cuticle, remove the shine from the natural nail bed, size up your tips and glue them on. And as you can see here, I've already quote unquote done all of that. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna grab my straight edge um, nail clipper and I'm gonna just cut off the tip just to get that I guess the ballerina coffin look whatever you guys want to call it and just clip the tips off really quick okay and so before we get into the application I'm gonna be showing you guys what brush I use well in this video and it's the young nails um, artistic artistic sculptor brush and I believe it's a size 8 it doesn't actually say a size 8 but I think it is um, I go between this one and my Panna brush um, so let's go ahead and go straight into the video so as you can see I'm going to be using the yellow powder first from iGel Beauty just to see how it applies and I actually loved how it applied it applied very smoothly you're going to be able to see that and it was very manageable so I really did like it Okay, so for this first nail, my index finger, I'm gonna be doing um, this whole nail yellow. And then on the middle finger, it's gonna be the ombre. And then the ring finger, I'm gonna use the piglet. And then the pinky is gonna be all yellow too. So starting off here, I, I'm gonna do the three bead method. So I'm gonna start off with the first bead right below where the natural nail bed and the tip meet. And then I'm just gently just swiping down, working down the, the powder. And so I'm gonna pat, pat, and then just drag down to the free edge. And making sure that I swipe my sidewalls along just to maintain the shape of my nail. And I'm trying to keep the application as smooth and clean as possible. Um, I've been actually kind of working on that, so yeah, I'm doing my best to, to keep it clean. And so then I'm going to grab my second bead and I'm just going to place it right above the, um, the, the first bead. And I don't know if you can tell, but every time I grab a bead, I'm just um, getting it drier and drier because the, um, the last bead that's going to go towards the cuticle, I try to keep that one um, kind of dry because I don't want it running all over the place and I don't want to over flood my cuticle. All right, so here I'm just gonna apply my very last bead and I'm gonna place it right below the cuticle. I don't want it right at the cuticle because I'm gonna gen gently just pat it up towards it and then um, pushing everything inside and then just gently um, swiping it down. And again, um, I actually love this color. It's a really pretty yellow. And um, again, it was very manageable and I like how it applied. Alright, so now that we're done with that finger, we're going to move on to the 
to the middle finger and I'm gonna place my first bead right where the natural nail bed and the and the tip meet and I'm just gonna gently swipe down like I did um, on the first nail and then after I'm done with this I'm gonna use piglet to do the ombre effect And here I'm just gently penning it down. I'm thinning it out, um, the yellow at the top, because I don't want any harsh lines when I apply the, the color, um, the piglet to do the ombre. So I'm just thinning it out. All right, so this is where Piglet comes in. It's double D175, again, from iGel Beauty. And I'm gonna place my very first bead, and it's kind of wet too, just so I can get a softer look of the ombre. And I'm gonna place it right where the natural nail bed and the tip meet, or right above um, where I placed the yellow bead, the very first bead. Then I'm gonna gently swipe down, and you can see it's a very good transition. Um, and um, so I'm just gonna gently push the remainder up towards the cuticle, just so it won't be so bulky. And here I'm just applying a little bit of the yellow at the tip um, because I found it kind of thin and then I'm just gently swipe, swiping it up. It's still a smooth transition. Um, I did get a little bit of the yellow on there but it's okay because I'm going to be applying another bead and it'll cover that right up. So now I'm just applying the bead right below the cuticle and I'm just gently pushing it up. And then I'm gonna gently swipe down just to do that, that ombre look. All right, so now that I'm done with the ombre nail, um, it's looking good. I like how it turned out. I'm gonna move on to the ring finger and that one I'm gonna cover it in, um, it's gonna be all piglet. So it's gonna be like a nude finger. And um, I don't know if you guys see it here, but when I applied this bead, you I don't know if you see that little darker spot of a purplish color. I'm not sure why it did that. Um, but anyways, um, so here I'm just applying my first bead. It, again, it's a three bead method. So I applied the very first one right where the tip and the natural nail bed meet. And I'm just gently swiping down and swiping down my sidewalls just again to maintain my shape. And then um, we're going to continue to add on the other two beads. So now moving on to the pinky now that I'm done with that nail and like I said this one's going to be all yellow. Now if you guys check out the two middle fingers 
the color piglet do you guys see like that little purplish or shadowy it looks kind of like it could be like dirty but it's not that that's what i'm talking about the it created um i don't know some kind of dark shadow and that's how it applied but i don't know why But I do want to mention though, even though Piglet is giving me those shadowy looks, um, it does it did apply very smoothly. Again, it was very manageable. So there's no issue with the application. It's just, I don't know why it gave me those dark spots. So again, I'll, I'll have to take a look and do more swatches and maybe another set using it. I don't know. But yeah, that's a, that was the only issue. All right, so now that I'm done with all four fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and cap them with um, clear acrylic from the Mia Secret um, brand. And this is just to protect from me falling off all the color and then the ombre look too. So I'll be doing this with all four nails. And then we're gonna move on to me attempting to do a 3D flower. So that's gonna be very interesting because honestly guys, I cannot do a 3D flower to save my life. But I did try to do it again. This isn't my first time. I've been trying for a while now. All right, so I am done capping all the fingernails and this is what we're looking like so far. Um, like I said, you can see the little shadowy parts, but um, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, next, after you see the neck, the nails again, um, they're gonna be already filed and shaped. So continue watching. All right, so here the nails are already filed and shaped. I really didn't have to do much filing since I did keep my application kind of clean. And then the nails are already shaped. So now on the ring finger, I'm gonna try to attempt to do that 3D flower and I'm gonna be using this 3D brush from Panna. Um, this one, I don't know, I didn't really like how it worked. It was my first time using it. I don't like the bristles, they're like all over the place. Maybe I have to like train them or something, but it just looked it was very um how do i say it i don't know i just didn't like the bristles but um yeah this is me attempting how to do a 3d flower if you guys have any tips or tricks that i can do i would love for you guys to tell me down in the comments below because i really struggled with it again this isn't my first time doing it but um i think this bead i grabbed it a little bit too wet i should have waited maybe a little bit more to match to become more matte, I guess, or dry up a little bit, um, just so it can maintain that look of a, I guess, a petal. So, 
so yeah but um yeah I kept trying to do it I mean it didn't turn out so bad towards the end but I mean there's always room for improvement I guess right so yeah just continue watching and you guys will see towards the end how my flower turned out Okay guys, so here I'm pretty much done with this flower, if that's what you guys want to call it. Um, I did use that coffee from me a secret just to add a little bit of the brown color um, like in the middle of the leaves, I guess, or petals, whatever you guys want to call it. And so yeah, let me know how I did with this flower, you guys. Don't be so cruel, okay? But um, yeah, it didn't turn out so bad. Um, so next I'm going to put um, the rhinestone right in the middle and add some caviar beads around the rhinestone. I'm going to be using the glue 
the uh, gem glue that I always use and I'm just taking this dotting tool just to grab a little bit of it and I'm gonna place it right in the center and then after I'm done applying the rhinestones and the caviar I'm gonna pop it in the lamp to cure because this gel does cure um, so it does give you time to move around your crystals and whatever just to place them where you want to place them All right, so this is what it looks like right now. It doesn't look so bad after applying the rhinestones. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my gel top coat and it is from Koopa and it's the matte one. Um, it's the only one that I use. So I'm gonna be doing this to all four nails. Um, after I'm done with that, we're gonna go ahead and pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds to cure and we'll take a look at the final results. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this finger, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. But um, all I can do is just keep practicing, keep improving. But I do like how this set turned out. Um, I'm not too happy with the piglet color and that shadowy, dirty look that it left. But it is a really cute set. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye!